Hey, look at him, he's pussying out. Come on. Boom. Right in the back. You know what the goddamn music is. Let me in. Last episode, we helped Aventus Aretino by murdering a woman at an orphanage who was uh, being a bit of a meanie to him, I guess. Uh, so he murdered her, and unfortunately, the Dark Brotherhood weren't too happy about that because that was one of their contracts. So Astrid, she found us when we were asleep. She gave us some drugs. I woke up. I was all dazed and confused. My butt hurt. Astrid, what did you do? Remember, the she did some shit. Anyway, uh, she wants forest. us to join the Dark Just Brotherhood now, so that's what we're going to do today. Me and Inigo here, we're going to go to Falkreath, I believe. Actually, let's read this. With friends like these, I've killed one of the captives, as Astrid instructed, and now, and must now gain entrance to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, which is located in the Southern Pine Forest. Astrid has provided me with the correct passphrase, silence my brother. So, this is somewhere, yeah, near Falkreath, so let's go ahead and head over there, check that place out, and uh, see what the Dark Brotherhood is all about. See you there, Astrid. Mwah. Not sure why I did that kissy noise there. Somebody should probably punch me directly in the face. Inigo, do you want to do the honors? I did a kissy noise at Astrid. How dumb is that? All right, I'll see you guys in Falkreath. Oh my god, there's poison out here. I'll take it. Oh my, I had to run so far away from that damn shack. I couldn't fast travel. There was a bunch of shit going on. There was enemies. Now there's a scavenger over here. I think that this guy is a hostile enemy. He might try to kick my ass if I uh, try to save him, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, despite my better judgment, I'll kill this troll for him. Oh yeah, he's mad already. Hey, what's up, scavenger buddy? I'll just, uh, fill you up with some arrows. Mind me. I'm just gonna kill your ass. He's pretty tough. Hey, why you running? Hey, look at him. He's pussying out. Come on. Boom. Right in the back. That's why you gotta run backwards so you can't get shot in the back. Actually, you'd get, you'd get like, shot in the heart and the nipples then. Probably hurt worse than getting shot in the back. Where'd that guy go? He's a scavenger. He might have something good on him. Maybe he scavenged, like, a nice little ring or something. Inigo, he's in the ground. Oh, here he is. Jesus. God, what a sight. He's got like 50 arrows in him. Uh, he's got absolute dog shit on him, so we're not going to take any of that. And the trolls have troll fat, uh, which I probably should take, but it's way too heavy. I will take these torch bugs, though. Okay, so the last time I lied, now you guys will see me near Falkreath. Whoa. Literally every guard is out here. They're all running for some reason. I'm not sure why. Alright, here we are on the path to the sanctuary. Just right over here. Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary discovered. Alright, we gotta go find the black door. Should just be right around the corner here. A bunch of poison out here. That must be like their, uh, their calling sign or whatever. You know, they plant death bells outside. Everywhere that they go. The abandoned shack. The black door here. Alright, we gotta tell this guy something. Howdy. Oh shit, I forgot my line. Uh, oh, it's silence, my brother. Um, the loot? No. Drums. God damn it. Inigo. I messed up the passphrase. Alright, let's try that again. That was funny that they put that in there. You know what the goddamn music is. Let me in. It's silence, my brother. Thanks. Wham bam, just like that. We're inside. Speak with Astrid. Oh no! No, Inigo. We were supposed to do this together. God, they're always excluding him. Is it because he's a Khajiit? You know that's racist, right, Astrid? You can't be doing that shit. What do we got in here? Hmm. A free soul gem. Don't mind if I do, Astrid. Alright, let's have a chat with her. Hey! Ah, uh, at last. I hope you found the place alright. I can see your face now. You look, uh, you look half decent, actually. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Alright, I'll try. I'm honored to be a part of your family, Astrid. When do I get to kill someone? I'm honored. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one. 
the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... endeavors. Sweet, we get some new digs. Completed. With friends like these. Why is it taking so long to get out of these menus? There we go. Shrouded set added. I'll check that out in a second. Who's the Night Mother? Where do the contracts come from? What if I get caught killing someone? I'm, uh, I'm pretty well known for getting caught doing bad shit. Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves' Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. Yeah, I know that all too well. I've paid sure uh, my fair share of gold family. to the guards because I always They're get caught stealing shit out of people's you. pockets. What do we got here? The Night Mother's Truth. It's not a skill book, though. All right, Astrid, I'm going to go talk to Nazir I'm afraid momentarily. I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Okay, yeah, I know. Oh, uh, I want to put on the Amulet of Articulation as well. Uh, especially because if I'm getting caught killing people, hopefully I'll be able to persuade or intimidate my way uh, out of that situation. So we're going to be wearing that. And then we can also check out the Dark Brotherhood clothing, which is called Shrouded. Here we go. Shrouded armor, increased poison resistance by 50%. Mm, just because we're in the guild, I think we're going to... Oh, no, I can't actually wear that, can I? Because I'm going to be over encumbered if I take off my Thieves Guild armor. We'll put this on eventually. Uh, maybe I'll put some of this stuff on, though. Mm, maybe the cow? Yeah, the cow is pretty good. Bows do 20% more damage. Uh, not half bad. Backstab does double damage. That's pretty good as well. Um, I think that we currently have lockpicking gloves on from the Thieves Guild. And here is shrouded robes. I'm going to take all this. I love how the shrouded robes look. They're so amazing. All right, yeah, I'll take all that. And what's this? Dark Brother Crossbow Crafting Manual. Yep, sure, I'll take that. Hopefully, I'll be able to make that at some point. That would be pretty cool. And we have a book called Sithis. Would you look at that? It actually says set this on it. That's pretty cool. Alteration increased to 46. I will take this. Pretty sure that's a good book. Um, from what I remember. I do recall reading that. Alright, Nazir. <laughs> again, oh, again. there's a bunch of people over here. He tries to the gang's all here. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Don't mind oh, me. Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mom and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> no, bad, bad. Ooh, that sucked. So wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes. Please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking oh my the God. experienced and... How long are these guys gonna go on for? Jesus, well, should we listen to this? I mean, why not? Let's just go ahead and do it. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest arm? God damn your old Something man. about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this guy's a werewolf. Hey, I'm a werewolf too, buddy. Maybe we'll be good friends. Probably not. 
I am not adorable, it was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> nice, congratulations, man. Alright, is that it? Are we good now? Oh, thank God, you guys. Enough of the damn stories. That was way too many stories there. All right, Nazir, I need a new contract or not a so new one. I need my first one. You're the newest one. member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. I just arrived. How'd you hear about me? It's a pleasure to meet you. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Shit, that's a nice sword you got there, Nazir. Yeah, I hope we'll be friends. Astrid said you'd have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available. To be completed at your leisure. Alright, sounds good. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. I need training in light armor. I'm ready for the first set of contracts. What can you tell me about yourself, Nazir? Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim. That's for damn sure. What the hell's that supposed to mean? I am a child of Hammerfell. Born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Interesting. I'm ready for the first set of contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Alright, let's do this damn thing. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytild, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Alright, so we got our first contracts. Gotta go kill three different people who are in various locations, kill Nafri. Ooh, we can get some information about these dudes? Oh, that's amazing. Well, started contract kill. What did that- I, I missed it. Endure spirits or some shit? I don't know. Oh, Enodius. Papius. That's what it said. Oh, these are all individual quests. So that's why that's happening. I'm a dumbass. Alright, tell me about Nafri. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy. Even for you. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, come on, man. I'm a vicious killer. Alright? Give me a break. Tell me about Enodius. He lived just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. <laughs> Hell yeah he is. I'm gonna kill that guy. Tell me about Batild. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Batild's angry and desperate. A fighter. Just gotta take care of the competition. Happy hunting. Thanks, my friend. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark those as our active quests. Uh, we need to go find Inigo as well because I'm not going it alone. Just in case if shit gets hairy, I don't want to get beat up by a bunch of people without Inigo there to tank for me. Alright, so let's go ahead and mark these up. We are going to kill Batilde. I must go to Dawnstar and kill the mine boss. Yes, of course. I must kill the ex Miller, Anodius Papius. Yep. And I must travel to the town of Iverstead and kill the beggar Narfri. Alright, so there we go. We're gonna go to, let's see here, where do we want to go first? Hmm, I suppose we'll go to Dawnstar first and kill the mine boss. It's a new moon tonight. Oh shit. I might be turning into a goddamn werewolf right here. Inigo. I'm scared, dude. Alright, we're here in Dawnstar. We have Inigo. We are ready to rock and roll. We're gonna murder this woman with a bound bow, probably. Should I go invisible first? Eh, we'll have to wait and see if I need to. Oh shit, should I just go inside? That's a big mistake for her. It's going to be easy, even easier to kill her if she's inside. Um, and I'll probably be less likely to get caught if she's inside as well. Because I was just going to kind of like, you know, 
Sniper in the head. Holy shit. Is it beautiful tonight or what? Look at that stuff. Oh my god, in the moon? Why is it like completely black? That is very creepy, actually. Alright, didn't it go? You ready for this? We're gonna have to go in this woman's house. A little breaking and entering. Nothing new for us. We've been doing this for uh, quite a long time now. Broken into my fair share of houses. Oh, is this uh, a courier for me? Hey, friend, what's up? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Well, what is it? Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Damn, that was fast. I just killed that lady. They already got a new one. And they're sending me letters to adopt a kid. Because uh, I think I'd be the perfect candidate. Candidate. Um, you know, a vicious killer. A thief. All that shit. Alright, let's get into this woman's house. She doesn't even lock the damn doors. She deserves to get murdered. She's probably going to see me right away. Okay. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I don't know where she is. She's in here somewhere. She's right there. Oh, dear God. I think this woman might actually have a quest. I'm going to check in her pockets real quick. See if she has anything like a note. Something along those lines. She doesn't. Hmm. Should I try to pick her pockets first? Oh, my God. I have to do it. I need the pickpocketing XP. There we go. 76 pickpocketing. I'll take your 13 bucks. Should I take her key? I'll take your key. All right. Enough, enough uh, horsing around. Let's go ahead and get our swords out. Try to one-hit this woman. Chill rend. There we go. And the nightingale blade. Perfect. All right, get ready to die, lady. Did anybody see that? Nope. We're good. Oh my god. She's got gold over here, too. What a treat for us, Inigo. We're going to be eating nice tonight. Four bucks in there, too. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and take this potion that fell on the ground. A potion of vigor. Sure. I think I ever already took everything off of you. Skull of Batild. Why Why is that there? Do I have to like get that as a token or something and bring it back to the Brotherhood? It almost looks like there's a Brotherhood hand on her skull, which is really strange. Do we want the miners closed? Nah, we don't. She can keep her damn pickaxe as well. Okay, so now, where are we going to next? We killed Batild. Now we're going to go to Angus Mill. Where is this at? God, it's in the middle of nowhere. All right, we're going to go to Uttering Hills Cave and walk down to the mill. Oh, dear God. There's bandits or something out here, and I'm not sure why. What are you guys doing out? There's a blizzard out here. Shouldn't you guys be inside or something, not wandering around? Are you looking for me? What the hell are you doing, woman? That was a dumb idea to walk over here. Wow. Okay. That was easy. Jesus, look at all the blood that came out of that dude. That was a hell of a kill shot. What do you guys got on you? Anything good? I'm eating that bread. What do you got on you? Normal shit. Alright, off to the mill. Alright, uh, we're nearing the mill. But the marker's like right over here and there's a tent. I'm not sure if the person is sleeping there. I think this might be a dude. I thought it was a woman. Is that the person we're supposed to kill? I'm just gonna just lob one of those. Did I do it? Was that it? Oh yeah, that was it. Okay. Anodius. Was this the uh, homeless dude? It must be, right? There's a mud crab here as well. Go ahead and kill this thing so it doesn't uh, get the jump on us. Because I, I know if I go loot hunter. that thing, they're going to get aggro. Start whooping my ass. Look, this one's already pissed. Come on, man. I didn't want to have to do this, but you guys are assholes. And you'll jump on me when I'm trying to do my looting. Oh, look at the little one. In it goes. We were born to do. Depressing. Jesus, man. You hit that little one with a hammer. Alright, let's go loot this dude real quick and see what he's got. Oh, I don't want to sleep in his bed. I want to loot him. There we go. I'll take that. Ooh, he's got Skull of Anodius Papius as well. So we must have to give these back to Nazir. For some reason, I do not. I'm going to eat that chicken. I don't remember ever having to do that. I must have a mod or something um, that is making that happen. I'm not sure why, though. All right, where are we going to now? Let's see. Got to kill Nafri. Oh, no, this is the beggar. Then what the hell was that guy doing? Why was he outside? Off to Iverstead. Watch what you're doing. What do you mean, watch what I'm doing? I just spawned here, damn it. Get out of my face. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised that that guy didn't die from those mud crabs. He was sleeping, like, dangerously close to some mud crabs. I think this guy has a, has a quest as, as well at some point. Or, uh, you can, like, look into his backstory or something. I remember doing it. It's, uh, very sad. Uh, from what I can remember, his sister died or something like that. He's got no family left. That's their old house. His sister's corpse is around here somewhere in the water. Uh, yeah. Pretty tragic, pretty sad. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to kill this guy right now, so we won't be able to do that quest, I don't think. Uh, unless he's not really involved in the quest. He, not, he might not be, like, directly involved in it. It might be, like, through the innkeeper or something like that. I don't know. 
Perfect. There he goes. He's dead now. Poor guy. All right, there we go. I think he was a little bit special. You know what I'm saying? And that's why he was, uh, or, you know, not special, but he was just, um, a little bit cuckoo. Probably had some, like, several mental ailments. It was making him a little bit nuts. I think there's a hidden chest in here for some reason. Let's see. Oh, no, there's not. There's a bedroll. I'll go look for that skeleton. Um, near, I think it's near, like, a bridge or something. It might be, like, right over here, in fact. So I'll go look for that real quick. It's kind of unfortunate that we couldn't do that quest. I think that if I would have talked to him, it would have popped up the Dark Brotherhood dialogue, which is like, oh, silence or some shit, and then you murder him real quick. Hmm, maybe this isn't the quest that I was thinking of. Because I could have swore that it was by a bridge, the uh, woman's corpse. But there's no way it's in there, is it? I mean, Jesus, look at the rapids on that shit. There's no way she's still uh, hanging around right here. She would have got pushed down for sure. Um, so maybe I'm misremembering. Anyway, we can go back to Nazir now, turn in these three skulls, and get our uh, first round of pay. Nazir, where you at? I did it. I got three kills. It was pretty easy, actually. I think most of them were asleep, aside from the miner. Oh! Is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely... punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return Stop. to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. But my pay! I, so I didn't get my, my money yet from Nazir, you know? Do you have a contract yes, for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, <laughs> I'm sure. They always are. God damn, Cicero, you're looking shifty as hell, my friend. It's good to see you again. I'm glad that you uh, made it to your destination after oh, that whole yes, wagon wheel accident, yeah, you know. Boss. Yeah, we helped Cicero, oh, so no. he probably likes us. In fact, I think we can talk to him and he'll say like, Oh, I remember you. Let's see. Wait! Oh, wait! <gasps> I know you. Yes. Yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. You're the man with a wagon, transporting his mother. I am! I am! But not just my mother, our mother, hmm? The night mother, oh yes. <laughs> And you helped me. You helped poor Cicero. You talked to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother. And our mother, she will never forget. Oh, God. Stay right. safe. Well, uh, I'll see you around, Cicero. I really like that guy, actually. He's pretty funny. And he's got a nice little dagger. In fact, all of these people have very for unique weapons for some reason, I've noticed. So, uh, one of these mods is definitely adding two. some, like, cool weapons to these guys. Alright, Nazir. I finished my contracts, and I want my damn money. Give me it. So, what of the old beggar Narthi? Is it done? 
as he groveled for his last septum. No, 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 no. This isn't how that's going to work. You're going to look at me when I'm talking my to you. Let me get my torch out. It's dark in here. Ah, Best much better. Get to it. All right. Anodius Papius is dead. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. I didn't even have to go near the lumber mill. He was uh, outside sleeping in a tent by a bunch of mud crabs for some reason. It was weird. But Tilda's dead. Of course she is. I hear the no, mining no. business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, oh, really? a the murder. I <laughs> could do this all day. Here's your else. payment. I could listen to it all day, to be honest. This is funny. Completed contract kill Batilde. Sweet. Next. Are you taking these skulls from me? I don't think he is, actually. Uh, what are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? We'll ask him that after we tell him Nafri is dead. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Alright, there we go. Our first three contracts. Taken care of. How much was it giving us as far as money goes? 750 bucks. Holy shit, that is a lot actually. That's pretty nice. Do you have any more contracts? Any advice on my current contract? What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. The temple contract? Oh shit. Any advice on my current contract? The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Go to a location and kill the target. But this is different. The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. I'll try my best. Do you have any more contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. I wonder if we can trade the uh, werewolf guy. Because I see him tinkering, or I've seen him tinkering over here on some weapons. So I wonder if he's like a smith that you can trade. I'm not sure, did you have a quest? No, he doesn't have a quest, I don't think. Okay, so we have... Our first legitimate contract from the Dark Brotherhood to go meet with a woman called Miri. Let's talk to some more people around here and then we'll end the episode there and we will fulfill that contract in the next one. I am oh shadow shit, sorry scale, dude. You see. Born under the sign of the shadow. Is it true? I uh, I hardly heard Temple what you said contract? there. Sorry I interrupted. Well, I the shadow that. scales are all but forgotten. An ancient tradition. From another time. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Truthfully? I'm not entirely sure. It's not that I don't have the utmost respect for Sithis and the Night Mother and the ancient ways. I do. But I've never been much for religion. I kill because it's what I've been trained to do. It's all I know. So long as Astrid is happy, I'm happy. Any advice on my current contract? You must speak to that Moiri woman, correct? I have heard rumors in Windhelm. She was recently implicated in a thievery along with her lover. The lover will likely be your target. If memory serves me correctly, he leads a group of bandits. So this may be rather interesting for you. Hmm. Sounds easy enough. Right then. Alright, is there anybody else we really want to talk to? I kind of want to speak to the werewolf guy at least. Oh, here he is. Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband? She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorites. My torch just burned out, damn it. Any advice on my current contract? Yeah, follow my wife's orders, and don't do anything stupid. Thanks. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Sister and the Night Mother? The witless fool and his pet corpse? Take a guess. You don't like him. Alright. Later, Hamhawk. Straight to the point. Did you just call me Hamhawk? What the hell's a Hamhawk? I don't know what that is. Is that like a, a piece of a pig or something? Mm. I have no idea. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and call out an episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.